So this is our certified backyard habitat and permanent bee pasture. Also healing garden, sometimes vegetables and herbs, mostly flowers, medicinal flowers. But maintaining a habitat has been its own therapy and I actually, I didn't know that horticultural, horticultural therapy is a thing. I thought it was like a side project of being a psychologist because after I had my brain injury in 2014, that was among learning to walk again, learning to talk again, learning to spell, learning to write, learning to smile. I had to learn to function, think, and they took me to the garden. I thought it was just because they knew I liked gardening, but it's because the act of gardening itself is a form of meditation. It has been scientifically proven to be healing for people with PTSD, people with depression, people who have any sort of trauma in their back in history, um, people who are just struggling um, in general with a lot of stress because when you get your hands in the dirt and you start planting things it can be a lot easier to meditate it can be a lot easier to notice that 15 minutes has gone by and you haven't thought about the stuff that's been bothering you you only have thought about the dirt on your hands and the sage and the ground and making sure the placement is just right so that you can have something beautiful like this sage here which is now three four years old and I started gardening when I was about that age, three or four years old, and my grandpa was a dairy farmer and my dad grew up on that farm and we had some land when I was a teenager and a horse and some pigs and the whole West Texas shebang, so to speak, but it was, it was kind of my only friend when I moved to Austin. I, you know, had just got out of college. I was, you know, 22. Um, I was starting my own business as a massage therapist. I was doing pain management for people in Austin. And when I got home, I was just so tired that, you know, the only thing that would help me turn off my mind was playing with my flowers and planting something new and seeing what would come up if I tried this combination of herbs with these vegetables and being able to eat from my own garden was amazing because if you've ever started your own business you know that that's not cheap and you're really broke a lot of the time and so sometimes the only food I had was what was in my garden and so teaching other people that they didn't have to be reliant on money for their food was this amazing um, occurrence that I had to share with other people. So I started building community gardens. I started at the apartment I lived at and I started working with other community gardens in Austin. And then one day they decided they were going to tear the community garden down along with the apartments and build some condos. So I wanted photos. I went to the construction site. Probably shouldn't have been there. There was definitely some signs that said, hey, danger idiot don't come up here but I did anyway and I wanted those photos and then I woke up in the hospital and they're asking me who's the president what year is it and I didn't know so um after that sometimes when I was when I was in the hospital you know I, I couldn't get out of bed I couldn't use the bathroom by myself and all I had was the television in front of me and that's what I had gone to college for originally was theater so I've been struggling ever since then to try to figure out a way to combine video with gardening and with my inspiration. I want to help people because when I have a question about gardening or mental health, I find myself on YouTube all the time. So in order to contribute back to what has given so much to me through the process of other people giving um, them their skills and their talents through YouTube, um, that would be why. I'm here. So the Brain and Bee Garden is all about horticultural therapy from a brain injury survivor. And I have learned so much since my brain injury about 
gardening, um, maintaining a backyard habitat, and what that looks like organically because we don't use any pesticides. We promote saving the bees. Um, we provide pollinator refuge and places for animals and birds and insects to live and thrive in a balanced, harmonious way. So this is far more than just a healing garden. And if I can share the fruits of that wonderful labor and this exciting adventure it's been to build this with anybody, then I'm elated to do so. And I would encourage anyone who um, says they have a black thumb um, or, you know, that they, they are not good at gardening um, to understand that it's not about keeping the plant alive. It's about growing it again and again. And you will find that you will have your failures and with that will bloom so much more to harvest. So with this learning opportunity, I give you myself, my heart, my soul, and I promise to be a brainy bee for you and hope that you'll join me and be a brainy bee yourself. Welcome to the garden. Please stick around. Have yourself a beautiful day. Happy harvest.